Hey folks, um, this is uh, Stasis the Drill of uh, Strangers with Knives. I'm sure most of you haven't heard of me or seen my videos. Uh, some of you may have. Um, I do a goofy little YouTube knife show with a couple of buddies of mine. And recently I've wanted to do a couple of smaller, solo, in-depth looks at some knives. Uh, and I figured a lot of people are asking for it, so I figured I'd do a quick video look at the uh, Mass Drop Special Edition Boker Urban Trapper that you can see right here. And uh, I gotta start off by saying this is a really, really pretty little knife. Um, the blue came out super different than it did in the uh, pictures on Mass Drop. But I think it's a good thing because it's this great, like, uh, halfway between a sky blue and a teal. Uh, and there's some gray in there, too. And it's just, it's a really great looking color. It's not that super cliche, like, bright anno blue that you see on almost everything these days. It's a little bit different. And then there's this great G10 scale on it on both sides. Uh, where you can see the grain, and it looks really nice, and it sets off against the blue perfectly, as does the uh, the black blade that you can see poking up here. Um, which, to give you a better look at it, and the action of the knife... Oh, I hit the table while doing that. Let me try that again. There we go. It shoots right out. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the blade coating is pretty darn good. Um, it's, again, didn't really match up with some of the pictures that we were shown when Mass Drop first advertised these, but I think it came out really nice. You can see it, it picks up fingerprints a little bit, but it's nothing terrible. Uh, got the nice Bo Boker Plus logo on there, uh, Brad Zinker logo, and then one of the more interesting things about this knife, as you can see right here, it is S35VN, which how cool is that to get something like the uh, Urban Trapper in a uh, premium blade steel? Um, so something that people keep asking about, uh, I think fit and finish is just outstanding. You can see right here how nicely that fits together. You can see the bearings that are in there that allow for it to be nice and smooth. You can see the lock bar engaged back in there. Uh, nice. I wouldn't call it early, but I wouldn't call it late either. Um, I'd call that like 45% lockup, something like that. Still pretty good. Um, little bit of, uh, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of flex in it because it's just titanium with uh, G10 over it. Uh, nothing crazy. It's not a super rugged knife. In fact, if you look back here, you can see... The only thing that stops the blade is engaging into the lock bar. There's no blade stop or pin or anything in there. So, I mean, it's a pretty light duty knife, but it feels great. It's nice and sturdy. There's no play back and forth or side to side. Um, the only movement that you can see there is the whole thing like flexing against my hand. Um, and yeah, it's great. A little bit of jumping right there on the uh, flipper tab. Um, serial number on the back. Mine is 0618. Uh, close is real nice. Centering is uh, just about perfect. Can't say I'd like it to be any different than that. Um, all in all, just a super super nice knife um and i imagine this transfers to most of the urban trappers out there obviously you can't really get this one unless they open another drop or you buy it on the secondary market um but i think it's just gorgeous i think it's a really nice little collector piece a good edc blade um yeah it's it's pretty damn good uh if you're one of the people that ordered one of these it hasn't received it yet I think you have something really special to look forward to and uh, those of you that have picked one up I hope you're enjoying it as much as I have um, so I'll probably be doing 
some more videos in the future. Uh, I've had a couple requests. I've had a couple of things that I've wanted to do. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what I manage to pull together and what makes it up to YouTube. Um, but for now, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little five minute overview of the uh, Mass Drop Edition Boca Urban Trapper. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you next time.